everybody, I'm Adam Harry. And I'm JR. And we're from Bella Souls with another unboxing for you here. We have the Stormcast Eternal Vanguard Paladors. Woo! Yeah, that's the Sigmarite magic right there. Yeah. So these are the new uh, crazy Griff Rider guys. They look cool. <laughs> I like them. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about these. I've seen the rules for them already. Those are, those are out, but I mean, they just look like Final Fantasy uh, Chocobos. Yeah. Like if I'm perfectly honest with you, and I'm okay with that. I am okay with that as well. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool stuff. They have some cool abilities to, to do this crazy um, move through space move. Like mm -hmm. they can roll six dice and that's how far they move and they do a bunch of crazy stuff. But I am uh, not here to talk about the rules today. No. We're here to look at the models. So let's do that. Let's do it. Jerry, you want to do the honors and rip the box open? Yeah, rip, the box. rip it! What? Or at least take the plastic off, don't Yeah, it? I'm not gonna tear into the precious box. Yeah, don't don't damage the minis. I'm taking these home. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we go. Uh, open this up. Nice. All right, everything in the box, so put this to the side for now. Here are the minis. We'll get to those in a second, I promise. You get three bases. These are the uh, cavalry, cavalry, she is here, faces. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. those, you get three of those. There's the rules. So if you, in case you were wondering, yes, this is in the instruction manual. You will get uh, rules, how they all work, which are super cool. But this is the uh, assembly guide, again, full color. We've seen this before. I know JR uh, just saw this recently, mm -hmm. right? Was the, uh, the yellow is the contact points. So if you're wondering where to put glue, there you go. Makes it super easy. That's how it works. Yeah, so really cool looking models, lots of detail. That's that. Let's take a look at the first sprue. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. So these are very cool looking sprues, man. I, I love the the uh, shape of the axe, especially. That's cool. Oh, yeah. They're actually cool. I really like the feathers and stuff that they did. The the I'm, I'm calling them fur feathers because mm -hmm. they look like fur, but there's but also some also feathers mixed feathers. in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. I like the other thing I like too is the uh, grappling hook thing. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little detail. I like that a lot. Well, there's mm. lots of there's lots of like subtle things, bowed shapes too. Yeah, to, to everything in the in the Stormcast faction. Yeah, I like it. And yeah. then here's the other side of the screw. Again, these guys are going to be hollow when you assemble them, and it looks like that's going to be the top, or no, that's going to be the bottom. So you've got two two of sides of the. Uh, of the um, rider or the of the mount's gonna go together, and then there's gonna be another part that goes in for the belly on the bottom here. So, in case you're wondering how that all goes together, and then of course the rider uh, is customizable. You can do a couple different weapon options. You can either do the spears or the axes as well. So, wow, they, yeah, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, next up, next sprue. Here we go. We have another one, similar layout. Again, there's the mount. They've got the bow, yeah, the, uh, the crossbow option. What is it, the, the storm bolt pistol? Yes, or the bolt, I think it's actually a bolt storm. Bolt storm? Something. One of the two. Yeah. It's not a storm bolter pistol. No. <laughs> no, it is a bolt storm pistol. Um, it should be a bolter, let's be fair. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff. The axe again, the, the rider. There's one of, there's the folded up version. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they compact like that. Yeah. I, I like that. That was actually one of the teasers they did a while oh. back. Was it was it painted on the uh, the mount here? And this is a sweet looking mount. I gotta say, man, I love the the, the fur feather. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, dude, check out the detail on that. Whoa. Wow. That, I'm touching. I gotta zoom in on that. That's yeah. Let's. This is ridiculous here. So look at the look at the look fur. At the, yeah. It's... That's crazy. Like they've done fur before. Yeah. But, but man. Uh, I wish, I wish folks at home could literally touch this, because I can. You can feel like yeah, nobody, nobody tell Peta. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not. It's fake fur. Oh. Or is it? I don't know. I mean, clearly it's fake. It's plastic fur. So yeah. It's a synthetic plastic fur. So Peta, it's okay. Um, <laughs> turns out, it's not an animal byproduct unless you count plastic as an animal byproduct, which is derived from oil. Which is a pl you know we're just gonna go to the next sprue, uh, the next hey, sprue. Look. Hey, look at that! <laughs> it's another sprue. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. So again, 
Uh, more of the same, the, this is the final one. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the mounts aren't uh, super posable other than there's three different mounts. So you're gonna have three different options there. Um, you may get a little bit of play with the uh, the positioning of the, the weapons, but uh, really the customizing comes with the rules. So, and uh, if you have the Battle Tome Stormcast Eternals, um, mm -hmm. the new one, it's got options so you can customize your mounts as far as what they do in combat, which is, or in the game, which is I bet, pretty cool. I bet you could see some pretty sweet conversions. Oh yeah. Like, it'd take a lot of green stuff, but I bet you could see some pretty sweet conversions. I think that these guys are gonna be awesome to base, uh, like you're saying, like the core, like you could do the legs and the torso mm -hmm. pretty much however you want, or, or not however you want, but like those would be kind of static, but then all the other conversions you could do with green stuff, if you want to get really creative. Totally. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much everything in the box. So we've gone over the three sprues. We've checked out the uh, assembly guide with all their fun rules uh, in there too. So just one last look at the rules here too. You can tell um, there's the bolt. It is bolt storm. Yeah. So the bolt storm pistols right. or the javelins. And then they have a, you know, crazy. If you're wondering how these stack up against the uh, Drakoth riders, um, just a heads up, they have two extra inches of movement and uh, a four up save versus a three up save. So Drakoff riders have a 10 inch move and a three up save. These guys have a 12 inch move and a four up save. So, um, but they also have some different shenanigans they can do, which I'm not gonna get into. But there you have it. That's pretty much everything inside the box for the new Vanguard Palindors, Palindromes. They are the same backwards and forwards. Yep, I don't think that's true, but you know, maybe in another language. <laughs> anyway, I'm Adam Mary. I'm JR. And we're from Bell Souls. Thanks for watching our unboxing. Have a good one.